And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 65 kilogram world tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium. We've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this first quarter final. Here in the red corner, Hideaki Yamazaki taking on in the blue, Stanislav Ren Renita. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's get into the breakdown. So Yamazaki has a huge height advantage. At 177 centimeters, he's 11 centimeters taller than mm. Retina. And, uh, but he's the older man by seven years, so the uh, Moldovan takes the youth advantage. Let's see how that plays out. That's right, well, I don't uh, age stamp fool with, fool you with Yamazaki. He moves so well. Um, you see, I love his footwork, and I love the way that he uses his lead leg to throw high kicks. I'm liking the uh, two orthodox um, stances here coming together, but Renita just looks a little bit tight, a little bit more tucked, but he might not close the distance too well with such a high guard. Mm. He might need to float that jab a bit more. Yeah, yeah, no, Yamazaki with such smooth footwork, mm. he definitely would be well served to sort of stay on the outside and use his long kicking tactics. Absolutely. I think, um, I think if uh, Renato isn't, isn't willing to float and, and uh, take, some, take some risks going in here, mm. then Yamazaki's going to have a, a field day. Here we go, yeah. yep. he's, he's going to town. Yeah, it's a tough situation for the Golden fighter here in the blue. Yeah, he's in a tough spot right now. Very tough spot. He, he's with it, he's sharp, but, um, but that's not looking good for the judges. Yeah, well, and he's got to deal with Yamazaki's got such great long kicking techniques. He's also, as you just saw, got great punches. So the long range and the middle range are both going to be really tough um, for Sinislav to fight at. Living up to his nickname, the Golden Fist. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's really on Renata to do something a little bit different here because you can see Yamazaki's happy to fight a distance and close a distance and rip it up and. Renata hasn't shown to match him on either one of those fronts. He has the shorter, stocky fighter who might be well served and start doing some body work um, and some leg work here early uh, in the fight here and see if he can pay dividends later on and sort of slow Yamazaki down. Absolutely, nothing wrong. If he's going to have a tight guard like that, then get your feet, foot uh, work up, get in the guy's chest, Bebo's mm -hmm. your way in and just hammer it. Yeah, and then, you know, you set up some shots to the body, and that creates openings later on for things that work well against a taller opponent, like overhand right, absolutely, high kick, something like that. So. I think he's trying a little bit more now. I mm -hmm. think he's uh, feeling like uh, the judges might not be seeing his way, and he's got to get a little bit more busy, but, but he's, he's not getting within range. Yamazaki, uh, so much experience, so smart. You know, just having fought a tournament two months ago, so you know we, we always have to remember these matches here in the context of the tournament. Tournament, Yamazaki's not wasting energy here. He had a good, strong flurry in the middle of the round, which probably is enough to get the judges to see it his way. Absolutely, and that's all he's got to do, and just have good rounds moving forward. Not take too many shots. Well, if you're in Granite's corner right now, you know you don't want your fight. Damage. You don't want your fighter to, to, uh, to use unnecessary energy because it's a tournament, but the only way he's going to win this fight is to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, Yamazaki, you know, can see on the outside and kind of dictate the pace, so it's going to be um, dependent on you know, to get in there and make something happen. Let's just see what uh, the corner is going to say to each other. Yamazaki, do more of the same. Maybe not quite go toe-toe -to and get him in the corner and show off the way you did. It looked great, don't get me wrong, but this guy is very tight and he is looking for a counter. He might not want to risk it. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, it's like he can kind of hang on the outside, land some good kicks. They're big point scores, even if they hit the guard. They're such big, powerful kicks. They're Simmer shuddering blows. Simmer around and that, the judges will score them. Absolutely. I mean, like, just because it don't land clean or send a body no! head, if it shifts your whole body, yeah. <laughs> it, it gets noticed. Yes. Ooh, yeah, that's heavy. And then the thing, too, is he's, he's smashing those arms, the forearms of the fighter in the blue, and that takes away, um, it takes some of the pepper off his punch. 
It's the second fight I've seen so far like this. I mean, gentlemen, once again, going back to it with skin like ours, Brian, need some fake tan because when they get damaged, it looks bad. Look at yeah. the red. Both of those shoulders are just, uh, yeah, cherry red at this point. Ooh, he's ah, real comfortable, so smart, so smooth. Very yeah. smooth. He's just yeah. owning the ring at this point. Beautiful, too. Both those knees are so well timed. He's got his back to the corner and he's not even looking at revolving out the way. That's how comfortable he is there. He feels like he can just time his man and, and keep him exactly where he wants him, and he is. And he's just getting out of the way. He's using just a half step to get back from the kick, back from the punch, and then a full step to get back in and land a jab or the lead kick. To be honest with you, if uh, Renata wasn't going to take, you know, a risk and create an opportunity there, he's not going to at all. Yeah, well, had, had a good overhand right there, um, but Yamazaki just, once again, taking that step back, taking the, the, the impact off the shot a little bit. It's going to be really hard for me to get inside and land that shot without doing something like some body work or setting it up with low kicks. Yeah, you're not going to take Yamazaki out of a pot shot. Um, you're, you're going to have a good morning on that. Mm, a hook kick. I have seen those traditional techniques from the fighter in the red. So Renata finally chucked the body shot and it was a good one. He was liver hunting there and he, he got some success. I'd like to have seen that more from round one. Mm. Hopefully we'll see it more now. Yeah, well, and, and Yamazaki is going in the toolkit and pulling out all sorts of different techniques. Front kicks, knees, punches. It's a sign of how comfortable he is in there. Mm. He's, uh, he's feeling like he's got free reign, and he really has. He's given everything a good air and out. And, um, and Renato just doesn't quite know what to do. He's chucking over hand shots, but I'd like to see him get back down to the body again. Yeah, well, in those, in those knees that Yamazaki was throwing earlier, over there was there's another again. one. It, it makes Renita hesitate to get, to get inside. You know, you get in there and you throw a few shots, but man, a knee even off your forearm like that, it just hurts so bad. It's so impactful. There was that nice little overhand right again. He finds success against Yamazaki with that again, but um, once again, you're not going to take him out in one shot. You've got to follow up. Yeah, and at this point, he hasn't done really any work with the low kick. Um, and that would be, you know, if he's uncomfortable going to the body with punches, smash the leg with low kicks, but he hasn't done that, so he really doesn't have any other options. I think he's got carried away head hunting and forgot his fundamentals. Yes. It's, uh, it's not a boxing match. You, you know, can use your legs. Yeah, yeah, so he needs to, uh, I don't know, he's going to have to make something real big happen in this next round, otherwise, it was like he moves to a pretty easy decision. <laughs> the, Did you see that? <laughs> getting the shower of power from his corner there. You know, I hope that was water. <laughs> dude, he just took a big old gulp with this weight on his face. <laughs> it was, um, it, that's not all water. Yeah, that's see, not all water. Seeing it back to the locker room and go, yeah. listen, we spoke about this. <laughs> Don't do that. It's gross. <laughs> Bit of backwash there. Uh, well, he might, he, might, told you. <laughs> he might come out a raging monster <laughs> after that. <laughs> That might be the little tactic to say, you want to fight? Okay, come oh, on. Oh man, yeah, exactly. Well, thank God, I've never been, never been uh, on the receiving end of one of those. Hopefully, it never will. Ooh. Yeah, mouth <laughs> shower. That's, that's, a, that's, that's <laughs> the name of it from yeah. now on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, he's pushing it up. Cole's not happy with it. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what, um, what the fighter in the blue here can do in this final round of this quarterfinal match in our tournament. Well, he's looking a little bit more busy now. He's looking a little bit more fidgety. He's, uh, he's moving. Yeah, so. if, he's, if he's got any sort of spinning techniques or anything like that, that he can, any rabbits he can pull out of the hat, he needs to do so very soon. And what I like to see about him now, he, he's coming in and out, he's coming in and out. He, he's trying to get Yamazaki to, uh, to throw something to counter. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different now, a little bit more busy. Ooh, nice little step feint there from Yamazaki. You can just kind of stick the jab, stick the front kick, step back on the hook, and just kind of play the matador um, to Renita's bull. That's what you need to do right now because Renita is looking a little bit more bullish. I think whatever happened in that corner yeah. had an effect. <laughs> I think uh, we, shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't put down the uh, mouth shower. Maybe oh. there's something to it. Maybe some Moldovan thing, I don't know. Well, yeah, it could be. They do that with wine out there, so maybe that's what it is. 
Oh, and he got his knees. He, he, yep, he's he's finding a home for those knees, and there's really no effective counter um, that Renita has used. You know, you, you, he's blocking the knee with the forearms, means he can't really you know punch. And this is it. I mean, Yamazaki doesn't need to be doing that at this point, but he obviously felt the bullish tactics of Renita, and he wanted to put him back in his box rather than just be a matador. door. Yeah. So he's uh, maybe tactics he shouldn't be looking at in the last round, but he's here to fight. Yeah, he's sticking the jab, moving. Get pressure on. No, just a, just such a, such a good performance. Um, this whole fight here from Yamazaki, and, and shutting down the short power puncher, and really not absorbing hardly any punches at all. Really not, really not. He's used that range to his advantage beautifully. We need to. He's looking for those short hooks over the top now and even finding a little success there if glancing off the shoulder. Yeah. But it's too little too late. Mm. Nice low kick finally. Yeah, yeah, I would have loved to see a lot more of those a lot sooner. Um, and yeah, this is just a great, you know, this is how you, the first round, the first quarter final match of the, of the tournament, you know, you've got you to take your time a little bit, make sure you don't get hurt. And, uh, and Zaki will be able to move into the next round, most likely, uh, pretty injury free. If these next 25 seconds go like the, uh, the last couple of rounds, I think he's going to be very happy with this. He will be very happy with this. You don't need to do too many spinning tactics or anything that's going to needlessly put you in harm's way. At least the last 10 seconds, kind of, we're expecting we need to really get in there. He, he did, but he got a, got a question how much was really behind it. Yeah, as much as Arctic, I would expect. Really nice. kind of got shut down, you know, really good performance there from the other side. Real smooth. Back to his corner, like standard operating procedure. Yep. Well, and the thing is, your reward for winning a match in the tournament is that you can go to the locker room, ice your wounds, and then do another match. <laughs> well, I don't know if he's got any wounds to ice. There's not even a hair out of place on Yamazaki's head. Now, I was going to say, the only thing that looks better than that performance is his hair the whole time. He was leaned down on that. Yeah. I'm jealous, mate. I'm is very, he, very is jealous. Is he even sweating? I don't think so. I want the product to that he uses. I really do. Cement. <laughs> Rubber cement. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yeah, as we'd expect, it's a very easy victory for Yamazaki. He can't help but be overjoyed with that. Now, great, uh, great performance. Yeah, we'll see who he gets in the next round. Looking okay. so good. This tournament just gets better and better as you advance. Well, uh, there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan. K1 65 kilogram world tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium. The second gymnasium. We will see you next time.